Hello Year 3 and Year 4, welcome to your English Lesson Live with me, Mr Phillips. It is Tuesday the 19th and so we're going to do some reading. Um, it's been a few days since we did our last live reading lesson, so just remember, pop down into the description and find yourself a copy of the book, Hope Jones Saves the World. You can find the link to the uh, Love Reading for Kids file down in the description. So make sure you scroll down, click on that link open up yourself a PDF version of the, of the book and then you can read along with me and then when you pause you can go and scroll through it as much as you want to go and find the answers okay so this is the book we're reading today Hope Jones saves the world and I wonder if you can remember what are the different parts to our reading lesson what do we do first well the first thing we always do is we always predict there we go I predict that what do you predict that this book is going to be about okay what you need to do is have a little look at the front cover there and then make a prediction i predict that this book is going to be about what use the clues that you're given and come up with a prediction what i want you to do is try and write that down now pause the video write it down remember i don't expect your prediction to be the same as mine it probably won't be so remember pause write it down off you go have a go at doing that for me now Okay, so now you should have written a prediction down. So let's see what I would have predicted. So I predict that uh, this is about a girl called Hope Jones um, who decides to go on a protest because when people hold placards and they and they chant stand around chanting things they're protesting they normally want something now she's smiling so i imagine it's quite a happy protest it's not a not an angry protest and she's there i think that's a supermarket on the side behind her so maybe there is something that's going on in a supermarket or there is something that that shop is selling that Hope does not agree with and she's going to protest it. So that is my prediction. I predict that um, Hope Jones is the main character and a supermarket in her town starts selling, ooh, selling something she doesn't agree with. Because of this, she goes and protests outside and i think that's going to be the basic premise of the story and maybe she might meet some people um things like that that's my prediction yours might be completely different from that and that's absolutely fine okay remember all our predictions will be different doesn't matter if it's right doesn't matter if it's wrong it's just getting our brain ready to think about the text that we're doing today okay right i think it's time for us to read our text hope jones saves the world so there it is i've opened up my uh, pdf version from love reading for kids whoops went back right now i'm just going to adjust the zoom slightly so you can see everything that's going on there we go okay hope joe i'm going to move myself out of the way you don't need to see me for this bit hope jones's blog hello Welcome to my blog. My name is Hope Jones. I am 10 years old. I am going to save the world. And here we've got lots of quotes by famous people. We've got, uh, how wonderful it is that nobody need wait a single moment before starting to improve the world, says Anne Frank. Unless someone like you cares a whole awful lot, nothing is going to get better. It's not. From Dr. Zeus. A defiant deed it has greater value than in innumerable thousands of words, says uh, uh, Amelia Pankhurst. Well, we, we studied her recently in school. Remember to look up at the stars and not down at your feet. Try to make sense of what you see and wonder about what makes the universe exist. Be curious and however difficult life may seem, there's always something that you can do and succeed at. It matters that you don't just give up, says Stephen Hawking. It is time to rebel, says Greta Thunberg. The earth is what we all have in common, says Wendell Berry, and earth provides enough to satisfy every man's need, not, but not every man's greed, says Mahatma Gandhi. So lots of uh, important quotes there. Monday the 30th of December. If you're wondering why I want to save the world, the answer is very simple. The world is in a mess. 
You do know that, don't you? If you don't, you just have to pick your nose. Stick your finger up there and pull out a bogey. What colour is it? Mine are black. Yes, black. From the pollution. Look! Sorry, I know that's gross. But you know what is even more gross? Having black bogeys. They should be green, right? Not black. Perhaps you live on the top of a mountain or in the middle of the countryside and the air is lovely and clean and your bogeys are bright green. I live in the city and mine are black, which is how I know the world is in a mess. Someone needs to save it. Dad always says, if you want to get something done, you have to do it yourself. So I'm going to. I'll write here every day about saving the world, so please come back and see what I've said. You can't leave a comment because Dad says the internet is full of nutters and he doesn't want me communicating with them. I don't think any nutters will want to read my blog, but Dad said you'd be surprised. So the comments are switched off. But if you send me an email, I will write back ASAP. Unless you're a nutter. My email is hopejonesavestheworld at gmail.com. You could even send me a picture of your bogeys. Actually, please don't. Bye for now. See you tomorrow. Tuesday the 31st of December. Hello, it's me again, Hope. You're probably wondering who I am. Sorry, I should have introduced myself properly, but I got distracted by all the stuff about bogeys. So today, I'm going to tell you a bit more about myself. My name is Hope Rose Jones. I am 10 years old. My favourite colours are red and black. My favourite foods are lasagna, black olives and chocolate ice cream. My worst fears are global warming and spiders. I'm not going to tell you where I live because we did an internet safety class at school and we were told never to reveal our actual address or phone numbers to strangers. But I can tell you that I live with my mum and dad. This is what they look like. I have one brother and one sister. I'm in the middle which is definitely the worst place to be. It's nice being the eldest because you get to stay up late and have more pocket money and you have the biggest room. And it's nice being the youngest because everyone says you're cute and basically you get away with everything and no one ever tells you off. But being in the middle is rubbish. Unfortunately, there's nothing I can do about it. Anyway, this is my little brother Finn. He won't stay still, which is why you can only see the back of his head. He's always running around and shouting, but no one ever tells him off because he's the youngest. Like I said, he gets away with everything. This is my big sister Becca. She's 16. She's usually quite nice, but today she kicked me out of her room for being annoying, which it wasn't exactly friendly. I think she's just depressed because it's New Year's Eve and she's stuck at home with us. She says she's the only 16 year old on the planet who isn't going to a party tonight. Aunt Jess says Becca's got the rest of her, uh, of her life to go to parties and she should enjoy welcoming in the new year with us. Aunt Jess is very cool. She isn't going to a New Year's party either because she's just broken up with her evil boyfriend. I suppose now he's her evil ex-boyfriend. He's not really evil, but he dumped her in a horrible way. So she's not in the mood for parties, which is why she's babysitting tonight. She's going to let us stay up till midnight as long as we go to bed without any fuss afterwards. So now I've introduced you to my whole family. We also have two pets. Here is our cat Papadon, and here is our hamster, Chutney. Obviously, Chutney and Papadon won't help me save the world, but I hope the others will. Today is the last day of the year. The seconds are ticking down till tomorrow. The first day of the new year when I'm going to start saving the world. I can't wait. I've already made my resolution. Do you know what I know what it is? I'll tell you. Tomorrow. I have to go now. We're making flapjacks with Aunt Jess. See you next year. And then there is a bit more um, of the extract, but that's all we're going to read today. Okay, so let's head back to our PowerPoint. Hello again. Back in there. So we've got some words to clarify. We've got blog, defiant, nutters, and resolution. So let me quickly go through the context of them all. Uh, in this story, Hope is writing a blog. So what do you think? blog means. In a second I'm going to ask you to pause the video and write down your idea. What do you think a blog is? The next word is defiance and that was actually in our wall of quotes. If you are defiant, what does that mean you are? How do you behave if you are defiant? 
have a little think next one is nutters and dad said he didn't want the comments on because he didn't want hope communicating with any nutters online so what do you think nutters means and last one resolution hope said she was making a new resolution this new year so what do you think resolution means what i want you to do is pause the video and i want you to write all four of your definitions doesn't matter if it's right or wrong just have a little guess don't leave it blank think about what each of these words might mean and have a guess at writing their def definitions for me okay pause the video there off you go okay so you should now have four definitions one for blog one for defiant one for nutters and one for resolution let's see if your definitions are the kind of same as mine so a blog is like an online diary okay now it doesn't have to be a diary in terms of the way that hope's doing it but it can be it's like an online place where you post information about yourself or your thoughts your ideas so it's like an online electronic diary so that's what a blog is hopefully you've got something like that you don't have to write an online diary but if you've explained it and it means the same then obviously you can give that a tick if you didn't get it right just make sure you write my definition next to yours so you know what the correct definition was okay defiant if you are defiant okay then you um refuse to do something or follow instructions Okay, someone who's defiant refuses to do something, refuses to do something or follow instructions. Now, normally, that's painted as quite bad. You know, if, if a school child is defiant, they're not listening and they're not paying, in, uh, you know, paying attention and, and following the instructions. But actually, in that way, in the way it's presented in the book, in the quote, let's, actually, let's go and find it quickly. Because actually, it's a good defiant. Here it is. A defiant deed has a greater value than an um, innumerable thousands of words. So basically, we know about Emily Pankhurst. We know that she uh, stood up for what she believed in as part of the suffragettes. Um, and she didn't follow the rules because, you know, women weren't allowed to vote in her time. A lot of us remember this because I know we studied it in um, Democracy Week this year. Um, she didn't follow the rules, but for a good reason. She was defiant because she was standing up for her rights. Okay, so in that context, defiant can be a good thing because she's standing up for what she believes in. You know, a lot of those key people could be described as defiant. You know, Greta Thunberg as well, because she um, refused to go to school until there was something done about climate change. You know, that could be defiant because she's refusing to do something, but it actually is in a good way okay next one nutters what have you got written down for nutters well nutters is someone who is a bit crazy okay a bit crazy you know you don't really know how they're going to behave and it is a piece of slang language slang language is a kind of like the colloquialisms that we use um so nutters you know isn't actually a word it's not a word that you'd find in the dictionary it's a piece of slang um, that we use in informal conversations. Ah, oh, he's a nutter, someone who's a little bit crazy. Okay, and last one was resolution. Now, a resolution is um, a change, a, a promise to make a change. And we most commonly uh, associate this word with New Year's Eve when we say, oh, we're going to make a New Year's resolution. We're going to change something about our behaviour ourselves you know at the start of the new year but you know you can make a resolution at any point to change it's this idea i'm going to change something about what i do or um you know how i behave or something like that so resolution is like a change okay so hopefully you've got some of those correct if not absolutely doesn't matter we're all learning these new pieces of vocabulary as we go along so write make sure you write down the definitions and now you've got at least hopefully one more word to add to your word bank that you can use for your writing and your reading going forwards okay let's have a little look at the questions so these are fairly easy questions today i think um, the text is good because it introduces us to these um the quotes that i want to speak about in a little bit but actually 
but there's not enough in the extract to really dig deep. So I'm hoping you will all find these questions fairly easy. So question number one, it says, from the first blog entry, what do you think hope wants to save the world from? From the first blog entry, what do you think hope wants to save the world from? Okay, now I probably should clarify, I don't actually mean that one there, I mean this one, Monday the 30th of December. I'm going to move my way out, myself out of the way again. From this first one here, including that page and this page, what do you think hope wants to save the world from? It's not, you know, it's not ghouls and ghosts. It's not a war, anything like that, is it? What do you think it is that she wants to save the world from? What I want you to do is pause the video, maybe go back to the text if you need it, and then write down in your answers what you think she wants to save the world from. Off you go, do that for me now. Okay, question number two. Hopefully you got your answer to number one. Number two says, name one thing you learn about each of Hope's siblings. Okay, so we know she's got two siblings, an older sibling and a younger sibling. I don't want you to put those down. I don't want you to be the one thing you learn about um, the brother is that he's younger and the one thing you learn about the sister is that she's older. I don't want that. Think of different ones. All I need you to do is go to the part of the text that has those characters on it and bring me back, you know, find and retrieve one piece of information about each character. So one thing about the brother and one thing about the sister that you learn from the text. Okay, pause the video there. Off you go and do that for me now. Okay, and finally for your third question, in your own words, why was Aunt Jess babysitting the children? Okay, I, and this is going to be a two marker actually. I'm going to put two marks here. And for two marks, you need to tell me, whoops, it is two separate things. So again, can you go back to the text now, find the bit about Aunt Jess, and find me two, well, points to tell me why Aunt Jess was babysitting the children. Okay, pause the video there, off you go and do that for me now. Okay, so now you should have three answers. If you've not, don't start the video again yet. Make sure you have a go at doing the answers first because you better have a try and see how it's gone, okay? If you have got your answers, let's have a little look at what I would have put. So from the first blog entry, what do you think Hope wants to save the world from? Well, from this quote here, yes, black from the pollution, and then here they're talking about the lovely clean air and the horrible black air and the mess. Um, I think she wants to save the world from pollution. Yeah, for the first blog entry, what do you think Hope wants to save the world from? She wants to save it from pollution. If you've put global warming, you could have that as well, because I know she re specifically references global warming later on, okay? Well done, it says next, it says, name one thing you learn about each of Hope's siblings. So actually, I would present this um, like this, the brother, and then on a new line, I would put the sister. Now remember, we're not saying older or younger, we need to say something else that we learn about them. Now that is in the next bit here, isn't it? I have one brother, one sister, I'm the middle, nope, none of this is about it. This is my little, little brother Finn, so you might say his name's Finn, that's one thing. He won't stay still, that's another thing. He's always running around and shouting, uh, no one ever tells him off because he he's the youngest. No one ever tells him off, he gets away with anything. You can have any of those points. So I'm going to say the brother is always running around and shouting. That's the thing I've learned about the brother. And what about the sister? Big sister Becca, her name's Becca, that's one thing you could have. She's 16, usually quite nice, um, but occasionally has moods. There we go, straight away, four things, really quickly, bang, bang, bang. Four things we've learnt. I'm going to say the sister is usually quite nice to hope. There we go. Those are the two things I've learned. Now, don't worry if yours are different to this, but if your point is the one of the ones I've listed, then it's absolutely fine to use. 
Last one says, why was Aunt Jess babysitting the ch children to Mark's? Okay, so that was down here, isn't it? Aunt Jess is very cool. She isn't going to a New Year's party because she's just broken up with her evil boyfriend. There you go. She's just broken up with her boyfriend. I suppose he's now her evil ex-boyfriend. He's not really evil, but he dumped her in a horrible way. So she's not in the mood for parties. There's my second point. And that's how I can guarantee to Mark. So why was Aunt Jess babysitting children? She had just broken up with her boyfriend, which is one Mark, and she wasn't in the mood for parties that's the second mark okay so mark your work against my answers remember if it's not word for word that's fine but if it's you're vaguely saying the same point you can give yourself a mark anything you didn't get right make sure you write the correct answer next to it so you can see it here's our summary for today look at the quotes on page two which are your favorite quote which so which is your favorite quote and why so all those quotes I read before, there they all are. Which one is your favourite and why? That's what I would like you to do. Don't need to write the whole thing out, just say who said it. Either Anne Frank, Dr. Seuss, Emily Pankhurst, Stephen Hawking, Greta Thunberg, um, Wendell Berry and Mahatma Gandhi. You can just say, I like this quote by this person because of this. And that's the summary that I would like you to do by yourself. Okay, well done year three and year four. Thank you so much for working hard today and I will see you tomorrow for a bit of writing. Bye.